is Elena with Angel Messages with Elena. I want to thank you all for joining me today. We are uh, here at the Horse Rescue, so um, I'm doing a whole bunch of videos and hoping to have them up on time. So you're going to see uh, or hear a little spring. She is one of the orphan babies that um, we rescued and are taking care of. So May 18th is Saturday. Um, something that has been coming to my attention is Saturn. Saturn, um, when you have sat, it's like sitting and being still, relaxing, um, reflection time, but also the urn. What we have in urns is ashes, okay? So it's like sitting and reflecting of the ashes. So looking back into all the crud, that we have gone through so much that today we give reflection to God and give God thanksgiving and praise. Our angels are very much in the works and knows everything that we need to know today. Uh, it is also full moon. We have two days of full moon and before it starts, um, I think they call it waning. I'm still learning about the moons. Um, it's mother. Mother comes to nurture her children. And then it's the Armed Forces Day. So Armed Forces is about uh, honoring those who serve. But I want to honor all of those who serve in the spiritual realm as well. All of our angels, our guardian angels, our guides, those who have gone on before us, and you. Because you are going through amazing work. And I want to thank you for coming this far. So today we have two chakras that we work with and that is our third eye so our third eye is actually we're going to start seeing things with a physical eye and hearing so all of these things and if your sense hasn't um for um spelling smelling things um just to know that that can actually be amplified now and um, things that you're going through you're going to hear things um a lot more and is going to be bizarre, but it's okay. It's we all have gone through this process and it will normalize. All right, so as we continue, we have the goddess Nyx that comes to the table. She's about secrets. So, is there a secret that you're holding on to that you need to tell? Sometimes she says that it's not time to say a secret, but I do have a secret, and my secret. I've been trying to tell people for a long time. I have it on another website. Um, but I don't think I'm supposed to be announcing it. Because I've been trying to announce it through like the news and uh, our TV station here in Arizona. I have even emailed um, different uh, foreign leaders. And I'm not getting any response. So maybe it's not time for revelations of these secrets yet. So just to know that sometimes secrets will, will keep us from going forward. So since I've been saying my secret, even in private, for these things to come to the surface. I don't have bad secrets. It's a good one. Um, but those who have really bad secrets... Um, murder that they got away with or um incest or you know stuff like that those kind of things should not be secret anymore they should be being brought to the surface because i had to work with that within my own ex-husbands and my children's family and i don't want my children to have to think that they had to keep a secret because somebody dishonored them so this is about respecting yourself and getting yourself out there to reveal your secrets. And then when you do that, you have an ally. And this is a horse, and then this is um, a neighbor girl that was working with me. And the horse just come up to her and she's like, can we be friends? Can we be buddies? This is your ally. Anybody who backs you up is your ally. And so to know when you have your secrets and then it's being exposed, it's okay. Because you are going to have your backing. And sometimes God divine backs you. Sometimes it's your angels. Um, it's guides. It's other um, masters and uh, teachers. Um, there's people who will back you. So not to worry. You have allies as you sit and reflect those things. 
And then we have the 44 card, which is an angel card. Angels are saying, I am presently with you. This is also the 417, uh, it is our solar plexus. It is about awakening our power within to feel. We want to feel, okay? Don't turn off your feelings. Because I've worked with so many people who have trauma. And trauma, they, they feel... Many people feel that if I turn off my feelings, if I turn off my thoughts, my memories, that I'm going to be okay. And it's not because you're causing your body to make cancer and tumors. We don't want that for you no more. We want you to come forward to say the things that you need to say and to feel. Once you feel and you can release you will be healed. I have done this and I work with other people who've done this. I'm also a healer and a uh, ordained minister. So if you feel like you need to work with me, I do divine transformational uh, coaching in post-traumatic stress. The thing is, when you come to me, you need to have the mindset that you're ready to work because it's not easy. A couple of things I will tell you if you're having nightmares and night terrors. It's your body telling you it's time to release it. That's why you have it all the time. Things come to the surface for a reason. You have to understand your body's language to say, okay, how do I release it? Your body is, is highly intelligent. But it's, and you know, we're too much into our head and go to doctors and all they do is sedate us. So sometimes meds do work. I'm not saying it doesn't. I'm just saying that for the most part, the people I have worked with have been veterans and, um, and some others who have been on psychiatric meds is that they want to sedate them because they might injure them or because of mental illness. Well, you know what? Y'all... They made us this way, okay? So um, they made soldiers to go out into battle to be in hyper vigilance, and then they brought them home and expected them, oh, we'll give you some free time to be healed. It doesn't work like that. You have to work with them to get back into a normal, a normalcy because their normalcy is up here. So um, just to know that you can have normalcy, I've um, been working with people with post-traumatic stress since 2011, and I do a lot of it by the internet and face-to-face um, -face messaging. Um, I'm really happy to be working here at the Horse Rescue because they are actually going to be moving out of Tucson. Um, I can't tell you the location, but they will be having... Uh, veterans programs and children's programs, family programs for people who want to be healed. And I am so excited to be a part of this. So Saturday is also about daughters. So just to remember, it's a daughter day, a Rachel day. This is really important because as they carry the Ark of the Covenant up and down, um, when they set it down, when you see a person sit, they are contemplating the return of God. Return, O Lord, to the many thousands of Israel. And Israel, when you take apart the word, means is Rachel or is daughter. Um, Rachel means daughter and a you, the female sheep. So we have in our roots the sheep. And um, it, the sound that it makes is ba. And when you talk to anybody... Um, or and you'll read biblical things and you see ba like bat or uh, sheba she is a female sound of the sheep which is rachel so everything in the bible um comes right back into itself and this is how saturday kind of comes right back into yourself and to remember and reflect of what god has done for you to give thanksgiving to give praise and to refresh so take time today to refresh, and I look forward to spending more time with you as we go through the days of the week. May you be blessed. May you be blessed with so much love. May you be blessed with so much joy and inner peace.